Will you marry me? Now, isn't that romantic? Writing a marriage note with your significant other's blood. Nothing says love more than that, I gotta tell you. What is going on? Everybody, welcome to Rusty Lake Roots. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon. Uh, this right here is the follow-up to Rusty Lake Hotel, which is a, a game that I, I want to say maybe flew under a lot of people's radar. That came out last year, first on Itch and then on Steam, if I'm correct. It was like a 2 or $3 game. Really, really awesome game. It's very reminiscent to me of the Yogg. All of these like really dark humor games, I always try to compare to the Yogg, but it kind of that's kind of like my go-to comparison anyway. Yeah, I know it sounds really disturbing, but it's done in a really humorous way where, for instance, on this one occasion, you have to keep a guest happy by making him a Bloody Mary, but eventually the goal is to break off one of his antlers, which will cause him to bleed, and you use that blood in order to make the Bloody Mary for him to keep him happy. It's, you know, it's very uh, low-down version of what's actually happening in that. I don't know much about Rusty Lake Roots. I imagine it keeps the same type of dark humor involved. So, without further ado, let's get into this as soon as possible. By the way, I'm not sure how long this game is, but if you enjoy it and want to see some more beyond this point, this one shot I'm doing, do let me know in the comments and by leaving a like and I'll consider keeping this around. But for now, Rusty Lake Roots. Rusty Lake, Spring, 1860. James Vandeboom arrived at Rusty Lake. His uncle had just passed away under mysterious circumstances. James was his uncle's only heir. He had no idea of the events that would change his life. It's pretty cool. This already has voice acting. Uh, Rusty Lake Hotel did not have voice acting to my memory anyway. So, um, you want me to click on James over here. Drag to move left or right. Okay. This is going to be very much a point-and-click type of game as well. So, I hope that's okay with you guys. But believe me, it's actually really interesting the way you solve puzzles. They're very outside of the box and very... As I mentioned, it can be very disturbing in a humorous way as well. So, let's see here what we have. We have ourselves a can. All the stuff over here is stuff you'll collect, and then you kind of have to use them for the rest of the scene itself. We have a little dog here. This guy looks awfully goddamn cute. How you doing, buddy? Oh, Look at this guy. Look at that face. I love this guy so much already. I hope nothing bad happens to you in this game, because, you know, I don't trust um, the Rusty Lake games, man. They <laughs> Everything is basically off-bounds. Nobody is safe in this game. But look at that face. He's so adorable. He's a little bit smug, too, huh? He's got that whole, like, yeah, I'm better than you type of look to him. Uh, this is James over here. Click on a person to interact. Okay. What do we have? You have a note. Click on the text to read. Uh, Dear James, I regret to inform you that your uncle has passed away. He has left you his house and a very special seed. Uh, what does that say? Plant it and start your own family. There's also a 572 number here, which could be used for a puzzle down the line. So, alright, it's cool. Um, let's check out the suitcase here. Uh-huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Drag the numbers, so... How do you... Oh, this way. So... I think this was very easy. The game usually starts off very easy, at least Rusty Lake Hotel did, and as you progress further, it got more and more convoluted and difficult and disturbing, so the puzzles were kind of like, what the fuck am I doing? So this one's very easy, 572, let's unlock it. What's in here now? Excuse me, just, just, just unlock it. I'm gonna drag it or what? There it is. We have the family crest right there. Again, plant the seed, start your own family. Let's drag this over. Aha, it's a literal seed, okay. Seed. We have a bone? Ah, we give that to the puppers probably. Alrighty. So we got a bone, we have a seed. What's happening over here? Use items from your inventory. Uh, so we have a can. Probably place this here. Uh-huh. And then we move it down. So I guess we probably have to just literally plant the seed and then put some water in it and watch it grow. Bring this back up. And we have... Can with water? Okay. So, where do we plant the seed at? Nothing else over here. I don't see a, a legitimate planting seed area, but I do have a bone for the puppers here. So here you go, buddy. Aw, oh, look at that guy. Oh, no way. <laughs> I think he just gave us a spot to plant the seed. <laughs> Thanks a lot, puppers. I, I hope you enjoy that bone, which, by the way, looks a little bit human in nature. And I would not be surprised that that's literally a human bone, knowing how disturbing the Rusty Lake games can be. So let's plant the seed right here. Right? There you go. And now we just water it. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, now what? 
James? Huh, we're done here. Alrighty. Click on the tree to make it grow. Alright. So James is the start of this family here, it does seem. And now we have the second part. Spring 1860, still in spring of 1860. We're in the house. Start off over here. Some objects you can drag. And I see James over here pointing up to this nest. Which you can't reach. Okay. So we gotta get you up there somehow. Use a stool. There you go. Yeah, get up there. You still can't reach it, huh? No. Alright. So let's look around here. What's in here? Oh! I got a diamond! Hey, somebody's left a diamond here. We have a, apparently a worm? Okay. Anything else in here? No. We got one diamond. I'm not sure what that's for. Oh! Ah ha A twig! So now maybe we give this to James, huh? Aha! James, poke it. Come on, James. Stretch it out, dude. Yeah! And what's in here? An egg. It's a really interesting looking egg. Oh, little birdie. How you doing, buddy? You want a worm, don't you? Yeah, you do. Aw, oh, he took the worm. Oh my god, he apparently laid a diamond for me, too. Well, we got two diamonds. Not sure what we're doing with these, but let's continue dragging on this way. Oh, I think I see another diamond. And here's probably where you place the diamonds. Okay. Okay, it's all coming to me here now. So let's start off by boom. Does it matter the order? The order does not matter, but we still need one more, obviously. Which is probably here. I want this. Give this diamond to me. Ah! Yo, 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 wait a minute, you're... Are you gonna... Are you gonna attack me if I grab this diamond? This guy is, um... He's like the bellkeeper in Rusty Lake Hotel. At least I remember like a bellkeeper having like this whole raven crow type of head and body. Okay. Oh, he's gone now. And I have the diamond. Interesting. So we place this here. Turn the knob. And we're done. Hey, good job. Uh, again, it starts off really easy, but then it gets really disturbing and convoluted how you solve these puzzles. Like the, the, to the thing I mentioned about breaking the antler off from that horn, from that deer, to get blood and then make the Bloody Mary for him. So now the tree grows again. We got this one. Summer 1860, the uncle. Maybe we learn about our uncle now. So... The Vanderloom Brothers. Oh, I see. Aha. Aha! Got a key. And there's also a jar with a heart, a jar with a foot, a jar with maybe a lock of hair, eyeball, the teeth. And I'm not sure what the hell this is here. Another eyeball, another brain, maybe a tongue. That's very disturbing. What the hell were the Vanderloom brothers up to? So, all right, we have a key at least. Let's find out. Okay, we have a jar with water. Something tells me we'll be placing a heart here at some point or another. Um, down below, what do we have down here? What the hell is this? Okay. Alrighty. More than likely a puzzle we solve later. Here we have some wood. Gotta have some wood, baby. And we have a key. Well, maybe we use this key right here, huh? No. Not for you. Surprising. Alright. Over here. James, how you doing, buddy? Just hanging out? What's going on, James? Oh, you want a fire. Well, we have wood. We... Over there, anyway, we have a fireplace here. A couple of them. Okay, here we have. Here we go. Key. Aha! -ha! Now we have a hatchet, so we could probably even break down that log we saw over there. What's in here? Aha! There we got it. So now we have some matches as well. Perfect. So let's come back down over here and get into the log. Use the hatchet. Got our wood now. Perfect. Or at least the 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 lumber needed for the fireplace. Place you right here and start a fire. Hey! Got a key as well. Perfect. Okay. Are these anything over here? No? Okay. We have a key, which we have another locked cabinet right there, too. James is now sleeping. Look at this guy having a good time. Are you dreaming about anything? You're dreaming about... Is that a lady friend or is that mama? I don't know who that is. But okay. I'm dreaming of something, alright. Well, we have another key and we know there's another lock here, so... Let's open this bad boy up. Fuck. Uh, 
Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three, four, five, well, six, no, nine and nine, 18. Nine and nine, okay, I think I got it. So we probably have to match up the handprints over here. So we have bam, bam, and then bam, bam. Can I remember that? I think so. Uh, let's say three, we'll call this eight. And then we'll say, so three, eight, and then we'll say four, nine. Three, eight, and four, nine. So we'll split it up with nine, nine. So three and eight, four, nine, ha ha. What is this? Okay. I can't take this. Can't take it. Eight, five. So it's pointing at what? Eight, twenty-five? Eight, twenty-five. Well, we have a clock here, so maybe... Aha! So let's go to 825. Place this bad boy right over here, and then you come down here. Something is lit up. Can I open this now? Oh! Okay! Well, we just found a fucking body inside the, the grandfather clock. I told you those Vanderloom brothers were up to some shit, man. What the hell is... That's an arrow, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. Do I got a... Is that a fucking nipple? That's a nipple right there. It's a huge nipple. Use the hatchet on the nipple, maybe? Where'd I use the hatchet from? Oh my... Oh no! Oh... Oh no, I'm... I'm... Where the fuck am I going? How am I in... How am I going into that nipple? Is oh, there's a heart, of course. Alrighty, well, I just fucking pulled this guy's heart out from his nipple. It does seem, and I'm apparently now exiting through his mouth. What? Well, we have a heart. We know where it's supposed to go. Shot right through the heart. There's that. Alrighty, so the game is not spending any time. It's instantly gonna get fucked up on you. Three missions in. What is this up here? Collect all ten sacrifices. So we have the, the the heart sacrifice. We need the foot. I think it was a lock of hair. Two eyeballs. It looks like we're fucking building a head, doesn't it? It does look like we're building a head. Um. Oh. What what is this? Finding love. Oh, the girl he was thinking about. So it wasn't. A, it was a lady friend. This is five years after the summer. Okay, so we have a rose here. Can we collect this, maybe? Ah, I can. Anything in here? Nope. We'll probably need a key for this one. Ah, there's a key there. How you doing, um... Crow, Raven... I can never tell these guys apart, I apologize. Is there, like... Let me know. If there's, is there a fucking clear way for me to be able to tell a Raven to and a Crow apart? Is it just size? Is it, like, a particular type of, like, characteristic I'm not aware of? Like, not nothing, like, you know... Like that they do, but like, visibly. Is there a visible characteristic between a raven and a crow? Because every, every time I see a black bird, I'm saying like, oh, it's a raven, oh, it's a crow, and I never know which one it is. I just basically choose one at random and say it. Anyway, I want this key under your foot. I apparently plucked you, and you're a... Oh. Are you... Are you the bird that... This might be the... You know, knowing this game, this is probably the bird that um fell from the little nest and he hatched and he flew away after he gave him the diamond. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. But he's not going to give me that. But I have a feather now, if that means anything. Um, Put this fucking feather in here. Now it's not going to work. I imagine as much. All right, let's find out about um James and his lady friend here. Oh, we got a hanky. What are you reading there, James? You're reading a blank note. James, you might have gone insane. Not that I blame you, you probably saw that body with the cut-off nipple. Do I write something on this? Oh, I, I do. Uh... You don't know what to write, though, huh? Okay. Well... Do you probably need some ink or something? Oh, no! Why do I get... A sneaking suspicion of what's going to happen. I'm not going to say it right now, but if it happens, I'll let you know. Or if it doesn't happen, I guess I'll let you know. If it happens, I don't have to explain anything. Um, she's thinking about, do I love this guy? What do you think about James? Okay, cool, I got it. Go, go away. James, what about you? You're not thinking anything? <laughs> Stop eyeballing the woman, James. Okay. What if I give this to her? She's smelling the rose. That's good. 
Well, I was actually close. You know what I was thinking? I saw the rose with the thorns. And I imagined that she was probably going to get the, the, the rose and then get, like, you know, cut herself. And then we'd probably write something from her blood. But apparently she had a bloody, uh, bloody nose instead. But I was actually close. Um, so now I gave her the hanky maybe to clean up? Yes, and now I have blood for whatever the fuck I need to write over here. I'm telling you, man, this game is crazy. There it is. What are you going to write? Will you marry me? Now, isn't that romantic? Writing a marriage note with your significant other's blood. Nothing says love more than that, I gotta tell you. Okay. Let's collect that. <laughs> love note. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, this game does not hold back. It's just, oh. She moved closer to us now because she's, you know... So I'm going to say, yes, I have to imagine we have a worm now, probably for our little birdie friend. God damn, I love these games so much. They do these things, like, so well. All right, so let's go back to the bird here. Bird is the word. I got a worm for you, buddy. Yeah. He fucked off now. Great. Let me get this key. God only knows what we're going to find in here now, all things considering. Yeah, just a hand. Oh, the marriage ring. Oh, will you marry me? There's the engagement ring right there. Oh, good God. All right, I'll take that. Now, is this hand part of what we have to collect? No, there was no hand from the collection thing, right? I don't remember there being one. <laughs> we found the body inside the grandfather clock. We found a severed hand out here in his little cabinet outside in our patio for some reason. Oh, good God. All right, let's get close over here and let's give her the ring. She slipped that shit on like no other. Oh, she's in love, all right. There you go. And 65, we married Mary, or at least engaged ourselves to Mary. Now. There's, in, that's in, there's like split paths, though, isn't there? So by doing Mary, we grew this up, but we never did this one over here. Huh. Well, let's do that one, I guess. 1870, the staircase. Oh, our, our boy James has a mustache now, too. This is five years afterwards. Oh, dude, these right here are the guests from um, Rusty Lake Hotel. <laughs> That's awesome. Alrighty, so, hey, we have another picture here. With a puzzle of some kind. Okay. So, got that. James, anything going on with you here? You're thinking about a cave, a hole, a very wide vagina? I have no idea what he's thinking about here at the moment. Uh, what are you reading? Okay. Well, this is kind of very close to what we saw from that painting that we ripped off. Spring 1859, my brother and I are in the final stage of finding the elixir. The alchemist. And we have another weird symbol here. <laughs> What's happening up here? Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me... Can we start off, like, somewhere, like, easier, maybe without... Not so many fucking... No, it's... This is the entire puzzle right here alone. I could pop you open for whatever reason. That's about it for now. Can't bring you back down. So that's open for a reason. We have a note here. Okay. Another... Another thing. Huh. So what if we combine everything together? All three pictures into that one puzzle. So, for instance, over here, like, if I look at this from the side, it's the... The tri... The, we'll call it a pyramid. Pyramid and pyramid and then crescent moon. So... Right, pyramid and pyramid. So, you're telling me maybe pyramid and pyramid and then another crescent moon down here. Okay, because we're looking at it from this angle. We gotta take this um, arrow into consideration, so... Is that right? Yes. Okay. I think that's good here thus far. And then the book, the book said, full moon, full moon, crescent. And we have followed that over here, right? Full moon, full moon, crescent. Okay, so you're fine. This here is fine. We're missing one, two, and three. 1, 2, and 3. So we'll call this 1, 6, and 9 is what we're missing from the arrow in our perspective. And here it is. You see it? 1, 6, and 9. So, Pyramid, Moon, or Pyramid, Crescent, Moon, and Pyramid. Okay, we got it. We got it. Pyramid. 
Crescent Moon, and Pyramid. Ha! Okay, we got it! Oh shit, I was like thinking, what? Okay, we got it. Oh boy, damn. Okay, we got it though. Interesting puzzle. So now we have binoculars and we have an open window. So we come out here and... Spot over here, what do we see? Is this Rusty Lake Hotel? This looks very... This is actually Rusty Lake Hotel. Well, we have a couple of lights here. What does that mean to me? Oh, peek in. <gasps> oh, the, 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 the statues that we have. So we have elk. By the way, that's the elk that you rip off the horn and get the blood from that I mentioned. Elk looking to the left and then chicken lady to the right, maybe? Okay, hold up. Back over here. So elk looking to the left and chicken lady to the right. So maybe we rotate. Yeah, okay, we rotate here a little bit. And you guys probably should be at the end, maybe. So we'll do it this way. Now we come back out here, and we spy again. Raven to the left, hog to the right. Or crow, whatever. You're fine, and you over here. Oh! We have two, or one puzzle here done. Now we have to do this one, and then this one over here. Interesting. Well, what did this do for me? Well, I just unlocked, it just brought this down. We still have to figure this shit up over here. So what is this, like a... A puzzle, like a continuation type of puzzle? Like, connect everything together? Well, you look like the start. Oh! Wait, no! Yeah, 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 yeah! Ahahaha! <laughs> okay! And just one more! Just down below here. I... This one I'm not really too certain about. Maybe it is supposed to be color-coordinated. To some degree. So, for instance, like... Okay. Wowie. So... I, I don't know. <laughs> I just moved stuff around. I had an idea it was color-coordinated, but there you guys go. So, that's the start off over here. This was over here throwing me off, so you got the end completely. But it was still color-coordinated for sure. Wowie, that one was a bit more difficult. I know, like... Probably everybody watching the video already knew it, Falcon. I know, I know. Everybody always knows it immediately the moment they see it. Um, beha! We opened up the, the cave, the vagina that I mentioned. It's open now. Great! There you go, dude. We got it open for you. Go downstairs. Oh, Jesus. Just ascending into the, the, the stairs of madness over here. And that's it for us. We are now down below. Hoo hoo! Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna wrap it up here. This is Rusty Lake Roots. If you would like to see some more, let me know in the comments and we will continue it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. All the information will be down below. I will catch you next time.